Hey guys, Everything Review here. So today I'm doing a video on how to get the fastest possible Wi-Fi connection speed for your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro. Hopefully this method works with when the uh, PlayStation 5 comes out, but I obviously don't know that yet. So, first thing you want to do is obviously go to settings, go to network, go to set up, and for the first time, just do this um, just to see your base network connection. You use Wi-Fi, do easy, and you select your network. Okay, and then once it's updated, you just test it just to get like a baseline of how fast your connection is. Okay, so you get those numbers and you see mine is 164 with um, 5.2 megabytes upload. So now we're gonna do the next method to see if you can get it even faster. Okay, so for the first method, after you get your baseline connection, you wanna go to set up internet connection use um, Wi-Fi LAN cable is obviously faster um, because it's a direct connection. You want to go to custom instead of easy. You want to, when you're on the screen of networks, you want to click the options button and you want to go to frequency bands and see um, if you have the PlayStation Slim or <clears throat> Pro, then you will be able to use the 5 gigahertz. So you use that and then you connect to your Wi-Fi and you put the passcode in. Um, step. Then you go to automatic for IP address, do not specify. Then for DNS, you wanna to go to manual and you wanna put this code in. So the primary and secondary DNS, um, as you see on the screen, this is what it should be, 1.1.1.1 for the primary and 1.0.0.1. So this is Cloudflare. This is their uh, DNS server. So this, um, personally, this is the fastest connection for me that I have gotten. So MTU settings, you wanna do automatic. Do not use test internet connection and you should see a difference if there's uh the difference is bad then you should use a different one that i will show you or if it's um if it shows improvement see big improvement right there if it shows improvement then you keep that so this is the best for me i'm going to show you the other dns codes brand secondary dns this is google's so um, 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. So go ahead and click next. You do the same settings as you did before. So if you have any questions about the previous settings, it's just the same thing as before, the custom. So let that load through and see what this comes up with. So you see that's a big difference. So the Cloudflare gave me 177, Google gave me 87. So depending on where you live, depending on what your location is, that will be your best optimal speed. So I'm gonna show you um, some other DNS servers. So another thing I forgot to mention was that um, if you have the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 4 Pro, either one, they have the same kind of Wi-Fi chip in them. So you, um, if people are gonna say like, oh, the PS, since I have the PS4 Pro, the Wi-Fi connection will be faster. That's not true at all. They have the same card. It's only that the PS4 and the PS4 Pro, one can do five gigahertz and one cannot. But that's the only difference. You should be able to have around the same speed. So you are gonna lose some connection speed. Like my actual connection speed in my room is about 250 megabytes per second. That's what my phone tells me. And I'm getting about 170 with the PlayStation. So you're definitely gonna lose some of that speed, but that's just part of the PlayStation. Like you're not gonna get the full potential of your home Wi-Fi. but these um, DNS codes will show you how to get the full potential of the PlayStation. So. So I just started a download for you guys to see. So after about getting about once, like a 170 megabytes per second speed, this is what it should look like. So after each interval, it shouldn't be 170 megabytes per second. If that's what you're getting, it should be per second. So it's doing about two, maybe two intervals per second. I don't know. Um, but 14 minutes for 21 gigabytes. It's pretty good. I have not tried yet, so I will see what kind of speed I get. But um, 
this is the DNS, 9.9.9.9, and the secondary is a little longer, 149.112.112.112. So once you get that in, click Next, Automatic, Do Not Use, Test. So that was kind of like in the middle. So my fastest one was Google, or not Google, Cloudflare. Second fastest was this. My third fastest was Google. And whichever one works for you, type in the comments. I'm kind of curious which DNS server works for you. And thank you for watching.